You have any, is that okay? You have any questions? The only question I would have about the last video we did is like, okay, like what's the homework? When I'm by myself, what would you, what would make you happy to see me doing on the range? I'd like or to, at home or practice. I'd like to see you at home. Yeah. Get here. You know, you're gonna feel doctor. You're gonna do the Dr. Kwan stuff to here. You're yeah. gonna go back. You're gonna come down, and you're gonna start this into here, and then go because when you that say motion. This into here. Show me what. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. I'm at the top. Okay, I got my start. Yep. I go back. Pressure's on this foot. I'm now on my left foot. And now what I'm doing is I'm basically throwing toward the ball. I'm uncocking in line this way, but I'm pushing with my left foot. And when I push with my left foot, that push makes sure that I don't go out. Okay, yeah, like that throw and push at the same time. Yeah, so I'm yeah. here, I'm going that way. Yeah. Here's the key, and the, and the thing about the wrist angles is, I think when you're here, you're either slightly bent or flat, or I don't think you're too many people, you know, that way. But what you're doing is you're taking this, you're uncocking in line with your left well, that, wrist. That's what we'll talk about in, the, in this video. I just go back to the top. The little baby one. Now, mm -hmm. throw it. No, no, As let I this push. Go no, no, let this go down. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's different. You feel? Yeah. See, now you can feel that self coming. Yeah. Now you can feel yourself. Try to hit a little well, minute. what you feel is this. Look here. You'll feel this. You see, yep. then that takes you around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, come down. There. Now rip it. That's really good. See, that had a little better start line. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Today, we're talking about right? wrist angles with Lee Dietrich. <laughs> we're in Duarte at Rancho Duarte Golf Club. Uh, Lee's been teaching golf for 35 years, Lee? 40. 40, 40 years. And... Uh, He's a, he's really, Lee, if you would have given, let's say like after you were teaching golf for a year, if a future version of you came and gave yourself a lesson, what would you tell, what would you tell a uh, like 32 year old Lee teacher? Young fella, you got a few things that aren't quite correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're not quite especially, correct. So this is about like how the wrists work in the golf swing. So, so especially fun, to that, like how has your views changed about how the wrists work in the golf swing? <clears throat> well, I don't know whether they change. I just understand what I'm doing more. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think that what happens is, first off, the arms don't go around your body like this or like this. They say they work more in front of your right shoulder at the top. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to be inside here. And like you've, I like, I like what you've heard from Monty, and I like what you've heard from uh, Mike Malaska. Yeah. That I think what happens with this, if, I, if I'm just standing here, is that, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm picking up on that yeah. camera, mm -hmm. I'm just standing here, my, my wrist, this wrist is bent, the left is bent, the right is flattish. And it, as I go up in front of me, I don't go straight up and cock the club this way. I go up a little bit at an angle. I kind of push this hand this way and this hand to left hand that way. So show so, me what most you used to think of as the backswing. Just like if you don't move your well, shoulders. When I was younger, I was like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you ask guys how to hit what the right hand does in the backswing, I would go like this with it. Yeah. Most guys are going to go over here. So the whole, the entire golf swing, the range of how far the hands move is like from here to here. Basically. Uh, that's because, about it. Because it's you're going like to be here, you go down, yeah. and then you come back up this way. Okay. Where I would go next is I go with what, with what I've learned from the golfing machine. And, and what basically, what's happened to this left wrist is this. At the top, it's either going to be a little bit bent or it's going to be flat. Yeah. You'll see some of the players, younger players today get arched. But most people are going to be somewhere in this vicinity. Now, what happens with this, if I choke down the shaft, what I do with my left thumb is I uncock my left wrist. So when I uncock this wrist, as I uncock it, it the wrist moves from bent to flat to maybe a little bit arched at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I just do that from the top and I turn, and now I just turn to impact, I've got enough lag. Yeah, okay. You, know, you don't have I to pull this like, way. Or... I, I'm like Monty. I don't think you pull with this handle and get down to here. I think you throw the club and keep the right wrist bent okay. to create lag. Okay, now, relax your hands. Yeah, they're relaxed. Let me have the club. You're here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, if you push both thumbs down, 
this will tend to go that way. Okay, yeah. Okay, if I push my left thumb down only, and my right wrist, okay, my left thumb works with my left thumb works with my left with my right elbow. Okay. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep the elbow bent and go like this. Yeah. I want you to push the thumb down and straighten the elbow. <laughs> yeah. Stay there. Okay. So that keeps this wrist bent. That's the key to lag. Okay. So I'm like at this. Right. Maybe the best way to see this is here. If I straighten this out, you see how that you see how my arm working this way? Yeah. Is working with my wrist. Mm -hmm. I'm not so that so when I go down like this, I'm not trying to hold this off, and that's what I think you do. Yeah. You try to hold it off. I'm going to throw it down, but what I, as I throw it down, I'm going to keep this right wrist. The right wrist is going to karate chop, but notice that my wrist isn't changing its angle. Yeah. It's going here because this arm, this arm is working with the left wrist. So I get up to here. I'm going to throw this. I'm going to throw this. Well, when I throw it with my right hand, if I throw it with my right hand, I don't, I don't lose the bend. I'm throwing it there. See, now we're back to that lag position. Now we're back to where you were at six, P6 yeah. before. Yeah. So depending upon what your feel is, that feeling could be a throw yeah. with the right, keeping the left wrist, keeping the right wrist bent. Yeah. Or it could be uncocking the thumbs. Okay, right. let me see you do that. So let me help you a bit. So go up to top. Now go up and just do it in front of you. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're here. This thumb is going to uncock and this wrist is going to stay bent and you're coming down to there. It won't go straight. It'll just go to there because at, yeah. imp at impact you'll be a little bit bent. Okay. You feel? Yeah, I like feeling that the, le the left thumb doing this and the right elbow doing this are yes. together. Yes. Those th this wrist uncocking works with this thumb. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now if you want to do it with your right, feel like you're going to karate chop down with your right arm. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, when you karate chop down, as you open this up, this is going to go. Yeah. I'll tell you where I got that. Okay. Where I really, where it really sank in, even though I'd done some training with the golf machine and stuff. Right. Putting. Okay. I push putt. Mm -hmm. And I was over at Mountain Meadows on one of their putting greens, and I went like this. And all of a sudden, it dawned on me that when I was straightening my arm, this wrist was uncocking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when everything clicked together. I see. <laughs> All right, let me try to hit, hit a few. <coughs> so, uh, here, so we go here. Now, and here. So now, can I do that again? Do that again. Now, you're down here. This is the Harry Varden thing we talked about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're back to square. Yep. Now, chest, back to it. There you go. Now, now this is going, now, now we're going, now we're going this way. Yep. Now we're going like this. The head's out, the hands are up and in. Yeah. Good. See, you're not having any trouble with flighting it. Yeah. It's down low. Yeah, and I could actually hit okay. this and try to the hit it. The other thing we higher. talked about was with the grip. I want you to be a little bit more down on your fingers. I'm going to open it up right here just to show. This is the grip here, Lee. Yeah, and this is a little bit too much right here. Okay. Because close your hand. When you uncock here, that gives you quite a bit of honor deviation where you're going to hit this. Uh -huh. Now, if I take this and have you hold this like it's a like it's suitcase. a suitcase. Yeah, briefcase here, and now go down. You see, there's a little bit of a limit uh -huh. on how far down okay. you can go, which I yeah. think helps you helps you when you're going flexion to extension okay. to hit the ball. Okay, do it again. I, I, what am I going to say to you? You I know don't know. I'm Start line was left, so I don't, okay, you know, I don't so like you, it when it you got to hit the inside of the ball. Okay, right. So go back. Two dimples to the end. Okay, now come down. You're here. Mm -hmm. You're feeling this. Kick out. Let this kick out and come yeah. back. Yeah. Okay, now I'm doing it with your hands. Now you turn your body to bring your hair. There you go. You see, you're bringing it. There you oh, go. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. The body is the cause of that that new hand path going this way mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's clearing. Yeah, yeah, so that ties back to the quans pushing. There you go, awesome. Yeah, that's better. Okay. I can't do any more. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put, I'm gonna try to <laughs> just raise the, uh, last time we were together, so we were talking about 
the plane of the hands was not the same as the plane of the club head and that, this is where we're seeing it the hands are like pointed here the base of the plane of the hands but then now the club head's got to do it's it's got to go out on its own plane you can't try to match them up no, on the no, same no you're going to let that go out yeah that's good so now it's just that a matter of you just overdraw. huh that's a straight and then it goes that way okay so th that's when you, i need to hit the inside of it okay you need to get more inside or you need to cl close the club head less i see don't work so hard to close the club because you don't have to work so hard because okay. you haven't it, it's not open it's not there you go yeah that's see a, you don't that's have to work as hard with your with your hands now to square the club up yeah because because you never got it open when you did this before you were down here you see you were down you were down like this yeah. going into the ball well now you're only to here and the face is squarer i can just let this go around so when i let it go around this is my feel yeah I'm yeah for so long lee i i, I tried to hit low shots like that yes yes and then I see see when i do that i'm drag i'm i'm above the plane dragging yeah, this sure. way rather than well when I let it's it. like the video it's like the video you did with mike whenever you talked about to ask you to pose impact yeah, when you left. post impact yeah, you yeah. were up like this where yeah. he was back like this totally true yeah all right last one i mean you've heard a lot of this before Good. That's Very perfect. good. Excellent. What? Yeah. Excellent. All right, great. Thanks, Lee. That was fun. <laughs> You're welcome. You guys can find out more about Lee if you send him an email. I think is the best way to contact Lee. It's uh, in the description to this video, and uh, we're going to be doing a golf school coming up in September. We're considering doing one even earlier if there's uh, if we can find some time. So uh, go to contact. Uh, go to. Uh, bebettergolf.net slash school. There'll be information about that or send me an email at contactbebettergolf at gmail.com. We'll give you uh, information about the next event that we have.